do the fraction of two digit numbers with borrowing. It is a very interesting exercise. Let us see how we are going to work it out. All right. Let us look at our first set of numbers. Subtraction of two digit numbers with borrowing. I am sure you are going to enjoy the exercise. Yes, we will do it together. Look, we have. We have arranged the numbers in 1 and 10. We have 66, take away 39. We are going to minus 39 from 66. 6, 10, 6, 1. All right. What do we do first? We go to the ones place. Yes. Look at the one. We have 6, 1 and 9, 1. 6, 1 is small. From the small number, you cannot take away pick number 9. What do we do now? Borrow. Good. We are doing two digit numbers. Subtraction is with borrowing. Now, let us borrow. This is the tenth place. We borrow one ten from here and we bring it here. That is that one, one ten is ten ones. One ten is equal to ten ones. So, we borrow one, we cut this and we put five here and we put the one, cut this and we put sixteen. Six one ten comes here, that is 10 1 plus 6 1, 16 1. Now, easy to subtract. From 16, we are going to minus 9. So, we will take this number 9, we will count up to 16. Look, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, so, 7, 16 minus 9 is 7, ok, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, we write 7 here. What do we do from here? After 9, we keep counting up to 16 and we get 7. So, 16 minus 9 is 7. Now, what do we do? That is 7 1. Now we go to the tenth place. We have five tens. Take away three tens. Five tens minus three tens. One, two, three. What is left? Two. So five minus three is two. Two tens. So we get twenty-seven. That is two tens. One. Sixty-six minus thirty-nine gives you the answer twenty-seven. Did you enjoy? Two digit number, subtraction with borrowing. Good. Let us take another sum and work it out together. Look what is given to you. 41, take away 26. Okay. 4, 10, 1, 1, 2, 10, 6, 1. Now, we first we begin with the Ones. In the ones place, you have 1 minus 6. Again, 1 is smaller than 6. So, we cannot take away 6 ones from 1 1. What do we do now? Borrow. We will borrow 1 from the 10. We take 1 10 and we put it here. 1 10 equal to 10 ones. So, we put it plus 1 11 ones you get. You get 3 here after taking away 1 and you get here 11 ones. Alright. Now, from the 11 ones, minus 6 1. From 11 ones, we take away 6 1. 6. Count up to 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5. So, 11 minus 6 is 5. So, we write here 5 ones down. Now, we go to the tens place. We have 3 tens. Take away 2 tens. 1, 2. And we get 
one. From three, take away two is one. Three numbers, take away two tens is one. So we get 41 minus 26 gives you the answer 15. One ten and five one. Did you enjoy two digit number subtraction with borrowing? Good. Let's take a new sum and work it together. 82. 8 tens to 1. Minus 18. Look, we have in the 1's place 2 1's minus 8 1's. 2 is small. We go into borrowing. We borrow 1 10 from here. From the 8 tens, we borrow 1 10. So we have 7 left. And we take the 1 10 to the 1's place, becomes 10 1's plus 2. 12 ones. So we write the 12 ones on the top. Okay? Now from the 12 ones, minus 8 ones gives you a 9, 10, 11, 12. From 8, you count up to 12 and you get 4. 12 minus 8 gives you 4 ones. 12 ones take away 8 ones gives you the answer 4. So we write 4 down here. Now what do we do? Tens. In the tens place we have seven. Seven tens minus one. Seven minus one is six. So we put down six here. Seven minus one is six. Good. Eighty-two minus eighteen gives you the answer sixty-four. Six ten four one. Now, did you understand? Did you enjoy two digits subtraction with borrowing? Let's take another new sum and work it together. 67 minus 38. 67 minus 38. Let's go to the ones place. In the ones place, you have 7 ones minus 8 ones. 7 is Smaller than 8. Now we are going to borrowing. From 6 tens, we take away 1. We take 1 and that minus 6 is, when you take 1, you get 5 left. 1 ten, when you bring it over to, to the 1's place, it becomes 10 1's. 10 1's plus 7 is 17 1's. Now from 17 1, we minus 8. Let's count from 8 up to 17. 8. Up to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That is 9. Yes? 9. So, 17 minus 8 is 9 ones. Good. Now what do we do? Go to the tens place. You have 5 tens minus 3. 5 tens take away 3. 1, 2, 3. How many left? 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 tens. 5 tens minus 3 tens gives you the answer. 2 tens. So we write down 2 here. Good. Did you enjoy? 67 minus 38 gives you the answer 29. 2 tens, 9 ones. Now, did you understand? Did you learn? Did you enjoy doing two digit subtraction with borrowing? Now, let's go on to a new sum. Look, what is given to you? 82 minus 14. 8 tens, 2 ones, 1 ten, 4 ones. Now, in the ones place, you have 2, ten, two ones minus 4 ones. Now, 2 ones is smaller. 2 is smaller than 4. We go into borrowing. From 8 tens, we take away 1. So, we have 7 here. 1 ten that goes to the ones place becomes 10 ones plus 2, 12 ones. So, we write it here, 12 Ones. From 12, we minus 4. Do it carefully. 
Now, 4, count up to 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is 8. 12 ones minus 4 ones gives you 8 ones. Yes? Good. Now, we go to the tens. Please, we have 7 tens minus 1. 7 minus 1 gives you 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. So, we write down 6 here. Did you enjoy? 82 minus 14 gives you the answer 68. That is 6 tens, 8 ones. Yes? Let's look at another new sum. Yes. Here we are. 92 minus 47, 9 tenths, 2 ones, minus 4 tenths, 7 ones. Let's look at the ones place. In the ones, you have 2 ones minus 7 ones. 2 is small, smaller than 7. Let's go into borrowing. 9 tenths, we borrow 1 tenth. So, we get 8 balance. This 1 10, when it goes to the 1's place, becomes 1 10. That is 10 1's plus 2 becomes 12 1's. 10 1's plus 2 1 makes it 12 1. From 12 1's, we are going to take away 7 1's. Okay? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is 5. 12 ones minus 7 ones gives you the answer 5 ones. So, we put down 5 ones in the ones place. Now, we go to the tens place. We have 8 tens minus 4. 8 minus 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tens minus 4 tens gives you the answer 4 tens. Did you enjoy? Good. 92 minus 47 gives you the answer 45. 4 tens, 5 ones. Did you enjoy? Let's take a new sum now. Good. Here we have 82. Take away 45. 82 minus 45. In the ones place you have 2 ones minus 5 ones. 2 is smaller than 5, we are going to borrow 1 from the tens place. From 8 tens, we are going to take away 1 and that balance is 7. From 8, take away 1 is 7. Now, 1 ten goes to the ones place. It becomes 10 ones plus 2, 12 ones. From 12 ones, we are going to take away 5. 12 ones. Minus 5. Let's count up to 12 from 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is 7, 1. 12 minus 5 is 7. 7, 1. Good. So we put down 7 here. Now we go over to the tenth place. 7, 10 minus 4. 7 tenths minus 4 tenths, that is 4, 5, say 7, that is 3 tenths. Write 3 here. 7 take away 4 is 3. Are you happy? Yes. Now, 82 minus 5 gives you the answer 37. 3 tenths, 7 ones. What are we doing? We are doing two digit numbers. Subtraction with borrowing. Shall we take another new sum? Good. We are. 50 minus 44. 50 minus 44. In the ones place, we have 0 here. From 0, you cannot take away 4 ones. We will borrow 1 from the tens place. From 5 tens, we borrow. And then what is left is 4. 1 10 goes over here. So, we write that 1 10 becomes 10 ones. In the ones place, we write 10 here. Yes? Because there is nothing here. So, we write 10 ones. 10 ones minus 4 ones. 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is six one. Ten ones minus four one gives you the answer six one. So we write down six here. Now what do we do? Go to the tens place. In the tens place we have four tens minus four tens. Four tens minus four tens, zero. So we write down zero here. Good. So our answer is fifty minus forty four gives you the answer six. Fifty take away forty four, six. Did you enjoy children? Let's take a new sum. Good. We have here seventy two take away thirty seven. Seventy two take away thirty seven. In the ones place we have two minus seven. Two is small. Let's go into borrowing. Seven tens we take away one ten. We have left with six. Seven take away one is six. One ten goes to the ones place and it becomes ten ones. Ten ones plus two, twelve ones. Twelve ones take away seven. Let's count from seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is five. Twelve take away seven gives you five ones. Now in the tens place we have six. Take away three. Six. Tens minus three tens three four five six six tens minus three tens gives you the answer three. Good. Seventy two. Take away thirty seven gives you the answer thirty five. Three tens five one. Did you enjoy? Good.